this is the star of the day, huh? Yes. <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm all right. Some patients call what's about to begin in this Washington, D.C. hospital room a modern miracle. 19-year-old Weta Manila is about to have millions of his bone marrow stem cells removed from his blood in the first major step of the new gene therapy treatment for sickle cell disease. All right, we are rocking and rolling. You've begun. In the coming months, lab technicians will genetically alter those stem cells. That should lead them to produce red blood cells that are less likely to sickle and cause the blockage of blood flow that can result in severe pain. His stem cells are starting to go to the back. After intensive chemotherapy to wipe out Wedham's old cells and make room in the bone marrow, a team at Children's National Hospital will reintroduce the cells to his bloodstream. Dr. David Jacobson, the hospital's chief of blood and marrow transplantation, says there's not been enough of these days. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a journey it's I been know. to get to today. I know. What's the hold up? It really takes a lot of coordination of care. We have to make sure that there's a slot with the manufacturing company. And we have to, of course, make sure that the insurance uh, authorizes uh, the treatment. The months-long treatment from Vertex Pharmaceuticals or Bluebird Bio costs around 2 to $3 million. It's resource intensive for the limited number of hospitals authorized to deliver it. And it's dangerous enough to give some patients pause. Only several dozen people have begun the process nationwide since FDA approval last December. For Wedham, it could mean an end to near constant pain. It's this really sharp pain that just, it feels like someone's jamming a knife in me. And is the pain with sickle cell, is it pretty chronic? Is it almost every day? Yes. It, it never really goes away. Until now, the only cure was a stem cell transplant with a donor. That worked for Wedham's younger brother, Weckham, who was also born with sickle cell disease. I can see his, mm -hmm. his little hands are so swollen. Yeah. Mom, Sylvia Manila, says antibodies in Wedham's bloodstream prevented the same cure for him. I was, I was ecstatic. I was like, God, you did this for me. How about my other son? So you were really excited about the bone marrow transplant for, yes. for Wedham. Yes. But knew that Wedham was not going to be able to get it. And that's hard. It was hard. Mm. It was. What does it feel like to be on the cusp of a second miracle for your family? I don't think I have the right words to explain it. Wedham has seen his brother transform, but he's skeptical. How worried are you that this might not work? Uh, uh, maybe... 60%. Still, even with the life-threatening complications that may come, everything's looking good. If there's any chance of a less painful future, he says it's worth trying. Yemi Shal Sendor, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.